Hiya, oh, yeah. how you doing? It's Jimmy here. That's another lovely day in Whitley Bay. Although it's not as warm as it might look on camera. There's a bit of a cold wind. Anyway, I've got myself a couple of action cameras. I've got the CT9900 from Crosstour. And it comes with loads of brackets and mounts. But I wasn't happy with that. I wanted to add a couple more to the bike. So I could film in three positions uh, at the same time and I tried it a couple of weeks ago and it didn't go too badly apart from the front mount the camera fell off so I've done a bit of tweaking tried to improve them and I'm going to try again so take two <laughs> Well, as usual, we've got St Mary's Lighthouse in the background. I hope the camera's pointing towards it. I hope the camera's pointing towards me as well. Uh, that was one of the problems we had last time. So, we're at St Mary's Lighthouse and we're going to have a little ride uh, along the coast. Um, this time, if I can get around these bollards, this time I'm going to turn uh, north. We went south last time and if you see in the video it was quite busy. All the footpaths were crowded with people. I'm hoping going north won't be as busy. So we're, as I say, just leaving St Mary's Lighthouse. We're going to head towards Seton Sluice and then um, depending how I'm feeling because I'm I haven't done many bike rides this year. I think this is only my second, possibly third. Uh, we might go on to Blythe. I've spotted an issue with the new setup already. Um, nothing to do with the picture, it's the audio. The the new modification I made to the front, the camera has to now be in its underwater case because of the design of the mount to the bike. And um, I think the picture would be fine. The only thing is you can't plug the microphone in. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But we'll, we'll do this raid first. Get this ride out the way, we might learn something from this ride. And we'll get it right eventually. Seaton's Loose is home to the best chip shop I've ever been in. And as some of you might know, I'm quite an authority on chip shops. <laughs> and uh, this is a particularly good one. If you get fish and chips in this shop, the fish is so big they've got to break it in half to get it in the box and it just falls apart. It's fantastic. But that's a couple of miles ahead in Seaton Sluice. I'll point it out when we get there. It's called the Harbour View, I think. But we'll see in a minute.
here we are, Seaton Sluice Harbour. And in the background, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, that's Blythe, where the windmill is, that's Blythe, the wind turbine. That's Blythe, that's where I'm heading for. And this is Seaton Sluice Beach, lovely beach. And here we come, this is the harbour. And a couple of pubs and a lovely chip shop. And there's my bike. And that is the front mount that we had the problem with the last time when the camera fell off. And I've given it a bit of a tweak. And it's hard to tell because the screen in the action camera is very small. But up to now, I think uh, it's going okay. I'll tell about that when I get home and see it on the computer. And for the face shots, that's my little fishing rod. <laughs> um, again, I haven't seen the footage, so I, I, as far as I know, it's worked okay. And there's my little mount that gets me from the side. my outside broadcast vehicle. It's a bit of a shame it's gone overcast. It wasn't red hot before but it's it's even colder now. It's pleasant I suppose. Well, Blythe, here we come. And this is just a little shot from the top. And the chip shop's over there. And there we are, as promised. That's the famous best chip shop I've ever been to. The Harbour View. And I don't think it's open yet because you can always tell when it's open because the queue comes out the shop and down nearly to the church. Well, I'm now on the cycle path between Seaton Sluice and Blythe. Uh, it's a lovely little uh, cycle track between the dunes. Now, it's always been here, but last year, last year or the year before, they resurfaced it. 
because it was all potholes, big, big potholes. Now it's really nice. It's, it's just like riding on the road now. It's lovely. And this takes you all the way into Blythe. me over the seagulls they've seen me sandwiches I know what you're thinking past all them chip shops and you brought sandwiches yeah I was thinking that too anyway we've got to the to Bly with it we're at the port of Blythe now and um, Strava says I've done nine and a half miles so that'll be nearly 20 miles by the time I get home that's far enough for me at the minute because I haven't done much on the bike lately and we've uh, we've got to the the windmill the wind turbine like I showed before I hope that's in the picture it's hard to see um, so I haven't checked the footage yet because two reasons the screen on the action camera is very small and you cannot really tell anyway <coughs> it's best to wait till you get home and see it on a computer and the uh, 
the reflection in the screen makes it even harder so I'm not even gonna try I'll uh, I'll check it when I get home and as you can no doubt see the uh, the weather's gone cloudy and it's getting cold I might even have to put my hat on so I'm just gonna head back now and I'm going back the same way as I came so it's pointless taking any footage on the way home so I'll end the video now and uh, hopefully it's turned out all right and you take care thank you for watching